I'm Andrew Storrs, and the question we're asking is, what is your biggest takeaway from high school? Hi, I'm Carson Segura. Um, I think the biggest takeaway I've gotten from high school is that it really doesn't matter that much. Don't stress about your homework too much. You know, if you can get stuff in on time, then do it. If not, then it's all right. Have fun while you're young, um, and school lunch sucks. That's about it. Uh, I'm Will Ferber. Uh, I think my biggest takeaway from high school is probably you got to balance everything in your life. Don't spend too much time on hanging out with friends, too much time on school, sports. you got to have a good balance between everything. Um, I'm Jack Hudako, and my biggest takeaway from high school is that you got to not focus so much on what other people think mm. and do what you want, live how you want to live. And... Uh, don't care about other people's opinions so much. Um, my name is Jason Broadhead, and uh, I'd say my biggest takeaway from high school is, uh, you know, don't do drugs. Yeah. Yeah. It's beautiful advice. Hey, okay, my name is Parker Davis, and uh, my biggest takeaway from high school is that uh, you really don't need to worry about it too much. Like exactly what Carson said, you know. <laughs> you know, you could be you could be as academically smart as well and get the top of your class, or you could do the route Jason did, you know. <laughs> Just throw it straight. Wait, meaning, meaning what? Like, meaning what? No, like like he's saying, like you could like do all put in all the work as will all the all the time, and then like die in a car crash, what? and then someone like Jason could like go live a full life as a plumber or something. <laughs> Dude, that's facts! Yo, am I dying in a car crash? Well, I... <laughs> okay, alright. Just right. be careful when you're driving your car. I would say, I think my biggest takeaway from high school is that, uh... The, the relationships you forge are, um... You know, they're important, you know? Aww. You get your You get your group of friends, you know, maybe you get, get a little lady friend, uh... You know, or you a just, guy friend. Or a guy friend. We keep it open here. Or a lady who used to be a guy. Anything like that. Hey, we do not have judgment. No judgment here. I think that's another big thing that yes. I've learned. Is, uh, Diversity. I think, I think <laughs> like, when you're walking around the halls and you see all the, like, there's some weird people at Brighton, but you kind of, like, I don't know. I feel like I've come to accept it at a point. Like, yeah, a lesson in diversity. Like, there's all kinds of people, you know? And, uh, yeah, I've seen a lot of weird kids. Yeah, yeah. But, like, isn't that... So Doesn't that make it less weird? That's what makes it great. Yeah, what you know? Because they, you, they can too, be weird. They have the, I'd say that's another big take. The second question I'm asking now is, what is your best memory that you're taking away from high school? And I think, I'm going to start while these guys are thinking more. I think my, uh, my best memory is, and, and I don't know if it counts because it happened over summer, but I'd say all the camping trips we go on, you know, like over the summer, I think... I don't, know. I, I don't know what you guys would say, but I think I think ridiculous. I think a lot of good memories happen there. It's not ridiculous to say. Yeah, no, it's not ridiculous. And to just say. being out in the woods with the boys for a couple days. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. I agree. I, I'll, I'll go next. Um, I think my favorite memory is sneaking into the old school when uh. Just incriminate yourself. Yeah, no. <laughs> during, I think we'll, we'll allow it. We'll allow during it. Uh, we'll allow it, really? uh, last summer when uh we stuck into the circles and it was fun, you know. And yeah. <laughs> Favorite memory from high school? Um, I'd say my favorite memory What's from high name, school. Bro? No, you don't have to say the name again. Oh. Is um, you know, the one time where whichever senior class did water balloons for the senior prank, and then a bunch of mold grew on the floor, and we were <laughs> living in an infested school for months on end, and the administration did nothing to save All us. All right, Parker, how about you, Will? Okay, I'll, I'll go next. I'd say. Just those late night pickleball spike ball sessions oh. after a stressful day of school. Or like after I finished all my AP tests and just get to go play spike ball. Honestly, mine has got to be throwback to freshman year after we eat our uh, our, our lunch <laughs> and then we just do laps. Yeah. Oh, while yeah. We, 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 uh, we debated things we uh, topics. we joked the, we, we, the... we we played we testing laughed. all the water yeah, fountains testing all the water fountains the, water fountains. the, one next to the, um, the 600 hall yep yep that was the best one right there uh-huh uh, i mean you right mean, outside, outside of miss jones you'd get, you'd get separated and all you had to do was uh walk backwards walking. in that circle and you'd find your boys again yep. it was uh i don't know it, it sounds 
doesn't sound very fun, but you can never get lost at nice. Brighton High School. Very very nice. Nice. Well, now you could. Um, all right, I think my favorite memory was sneaking into the old mill and uh, having Luke face plant in the mud. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out Luke Weeks. Shout, Shout out Luke, Luke Weeks. Weeks. He couldn't be here today, but I'm sure he'd have something stupid to say about yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, thank you boys for coming out and talking with me. Of course. I appreciate of course. this. Always a pleasure. Yeah.